What's up guys, Joe here, back with another video, and today we're actually gonna be taking a look at what is new on iOS 8 Beta 5. Now, Apple released the fifth beta of iOS 8 on Monday, August 4th, 2014, uh, including several little minor interface modifications. So let's go ahead and see what is new. First off, we're gonna start off with the health application. So as you know, when iOS 8 Beta 1 was released and throughout all the past betas, it has been getting many improved little tweaks here and there, but with this updated beta, it is now collecting new spirometry data. So for those who aren't aware, which I was not aware either in the past before this, uh, spirometry test actually measures lung function, uh, tracking the volume and flow of air when inhaling and exhaling, which I think is a pretty crazy feature. And I look forward to seeing how Apple really implements that into different applications and things like that. Also, the health app has gained many several uh, new icons and the ability to export health data and a new show when logged option to display medical ID on the lock screen. And next we have something new with SMS Relay, which now pops up asking if you'd like to enable SMS Relay with your Mac. Now SMS Relay is part of the new continuity features, which is between OS 10 Yosemite and iOS 8 allow you to communicate with others via SMS even if they aren't using iMessage or aren't Apple users or anything like that uh, which is very useful especially for me and my workflow I can actually text back uh, friends that have Android devices and things like that so so basically you're just checking yes or no if you like SMS relay to communicate with your Mac next up we have some new settings for your photos uh, so going into settings, iCloud then photos, uh, it now displays a last updated notification to let users know when images were last synced. Also there is an iCloud photo settings options to store full resolution photos in iCloud while keeping device optimized versions available on the iPhone to save more storage space. So basically you're going to have the option to save those full resolution photos on your device or iCloud. So if you save them onto iCloud, you actually save some phone storage. Uh, so that is a welcome feature. Now the next little feature is on the keyboard and predictive text. So we now have an option on the keyboard to actually toggle on and off predictive text because before we simply had text that just said on and off. So as shown here on the iPod Touch, which is running beta four, it simply had text. Whereas to now on beta five, you have an actual uh, green little toggle here that you will simply be able to tap to turn on and off, which is a welcome visual. I really like that. I like that. It looks looks actually cleaner, better. Now going back and talking about iCloud again, uh, we actually have some new iCloud icons, which isn't that crazy, but we do have new icons. So as you see here, uh, new icons. <laughs> also navigating through this settings application, uh, we have our wallpaper settings and simply Apple has removed the brightness toggle from the wallpaper section of the settings app uh, since it was displayed already in the display and brightness section of the settings app. And lastly, Spotlight has seemed to be a lot snappier, which is great. It actually got rid of that little animation when you swipe down, so it's a lot quicker and snappier. And Spotlight is something I have been using quite a bit. I've always used Spotlight and with iOS 8, I've actually used it a lot more because it searches your apps and uh, web searches and all that stuff. So overall, I think iOS 8 is starting to finally shape up and be faster and more stable. Uh, since we are already in beta 5, I would say look forward to the final release being sometime mid or late September. Uh, but of course, I will keep you guys posted on future videos and also on Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus, and of course, Instagram. So go ahead and follow me on those social networks if you're not yet. But other than that, guys, that's basically all that is new on iOS 8 Beta 5. There have been some things that I probably didn't cover, so I want to know in the comments below what new features or tweaks did you find in iOS 8 Beta 5 that was not covered in this video. But besides that, hit that like button as always, as it not only helps the channel and supports the channel, but it also lets me know that you enjoyed the video. Also, if you're not yet following me on any of my social networks, like I mentioned earlier, go ahead and follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus, and Instagram. All the links are down below as always, so go ahead and do that. If you'd like to get in touch with me, Twitter and Instagram are probably my most active social networks, so follow me on there if you'd like. And if you feel like being awesome, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified when I come out with all of my latest videos, including future iOS videos and of course other tech-related videos 
Anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching, and I will catch you all on the next one. All right? Peace.